Hi, this is Bill with Machinery Consultants out in Salt Lake City, Utah. We'd like to thank you for your time and review to show you amazing Monarch Model 10 E. This is an amazing condition, inch and metric, tool room lathe. This happens to be serial number 52,251. The machine was manufactured in 1979 and sold in 1980. This is a solid state model with an inverter drive, late model, Monarch 10 E, and it happens to be our stock number 8689. That being said, we're going to show you how killer this machine is, go through the condition, inspect the ways, and do a full analysis of what we're offering here out of uh, Machinery Consultants in Salt Lake City, Utah. Go ahead, Frank. Let's see what you got. You can see how... See how smooth and quiet it runs. Go ahead, Frank. Okay, this machine, the way it's set up now, the way we have the inverter tuned, it'll go from zero to 2,000 RPMs. This is an open drive. Now, also, it has a back drive. It'll go a lot slower, but this is our open drive style. Easing up on 1500. Okay, we're at 2000 RPM, ladies and gentlemen. This machine is very unique. Not only the fact that you're noticing the condition is overwhelming and amazing and an extremely limited use, this machine also has inch and metric threads and feeds. That being said, we have 60 threads ranging from 3 to 184 TPI and 50 and 60 threads and metric ranging from 1.5 to 11.5 millimeter. Additionally, this machine is a is a D13 cam lock nose spindle. We've also set it up with a new all two axis digital readout and a Loris AXA style wedge type quick change tool post with five holders. Here's the other holders. A Jacobs heavy duty little uh, pint size drill chuck for the number two more taper in the tailstock. It's a five horsepower main drive. It also has the work light. Let me come off the tripod. I'd also like to point out it has a taper attachment as well as the fact that we're all set up on the factory coolant system. The footprint of this machine has the electrical panel that extends up the back with the cooling motor. Here's the original factory tag. Now this uh, this paint, in case you'll, you're noticing, is what we call a spider web white. Spiderweb white is a very unique color, and we absolutely love it. And the last thing I'd like to point out here is this Monarch tag. Probably one of the coolest Monarch tags we've ever seen. Okay, let's get back into the nuts and bolts, Frank. I'm going to show them the, uh, the feeds. Yeah, thank you. You'll notice on the satin chrome finish dial that it has the etchings for inch as well as metric. Quick inspection of the cross slide ways, the compound, the rear of the cross slide, the ways up near the headstock. Absolutely fantastic. The lines, the curves, the moves, the sleekness of this machine, just absolutely amazing. Okay, speaking of the feeds that he's doing. 
There's a full range of feeds. There's 50 changes in metric and an inch. The machine's currently wired at 440 volts. It's driven off a five horsepower main drive motor. Keep on turning. All right, you want to show me that tail stock? Wow. Okay, well, that about says it all. You know, the neat thing about a machine like this is less words, more action. When it comes to this American made Monarch 10 E, we're extremely proud of this machine. We have the, uh, the manuals for it, the operation book, everything that's required. Uh, we can also quote out a, uh, a nice set of complement uh, tooling if required. If you need a, a, a three-jaw chuck or a four-jaw chuck, please let us know. But as it sits, this machine is located here in Salt Lake City, Utah, Machinery Consultants. Our phone number is 801-531-9500. Our website is www.machineryconsultants.com. If there's anything else we can help with on this machine, please let us know. Thanks again. Have a great day.